Hello everyone and Gary, thank you for asking me to do a recording for you and your team. Um, I've been asked to talk, my name's Jan Rice for those who don't know me. Um, I've been asked to do a brief presentation, perhaps talking about some of the challenges in uh, wound management, um, things like slough. There's a great article available on what is slough um, that I would really recommend that you have a look at. The big issue is how to remove it. Our problem today is that many nurses are afraid of cleaning wounds. And without a doubt, it is our job. We must clean the wounds. We must recognize that the resident may experience some pain while we do it, but it is our job to clean the wound. This is the problem right now is that um, too many people are just giving it a wipe or a lick and a flick with some saline, or they're using some of the wonderful cleansing agents, but not using them correctly and um, not really giving that wound a good wipe. So start with dry gauze and watch what moves. And then once you see what moves, then start to grab it with uh, plastic forceps. If you can't grab it with the plastic forceps, um, then perhaps break your plastic forcep in half and now you've got to stick with some teeth on it and you can give it a gentle scratch. Now the pressure that you're using to do this is very similar to that that you use when you're applying moisturiser. So you're not rubbing the hell out of it, um, but you are endeavouring to lift that slough off because if you don't, as we now know, biofilms are of some concern, leaving microorganisms on the wound surface and allowing them to penetrate deeper tissues. Um, and then we put antimicrobials on and they're not reaching where those biofilms are. So we've got to remove the slough and the dead tissue to it in order to allow our dressings to do the work that we want them to do. Of course, there may be some pinpoint bleeding, but this is acceptable. So reassure your patients, tell them what your aim is and why you need to do what you need to do, and then ensure that you have the skills and the knowledge to be able to do that and understand what you're achieving when you do remove that dead tissue. There are times when we will not remove dead tissue and we all know that's in peripheral arterial disease or in wounds really that taking that eschgar off is only going to reveal necrotic fat, but we have no hope of healing anyway. If you leave eschgar dry and intact, the patient will have less pain. Gary also asked me to speak about pain, um, but that may be for another time. So best wishes and I hope something has been gained by listening to this brief uh, talk. Thank you.